Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Gifford, and today we are going to do lesson 7-3, Scientific Notation. After this lesson, students will be able to express, multiply, and divide numbers in scientific notation. Let's check it out. So, what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is when you have a number written in the form of a times 10 to the nth power where a is basically bigger than or equal to 1 but less than 10. We read this inequality as 1 is less than or equal to a is less than 10. And the other thing, this exponent, this n, is an integer. So how do you change from standard form into scientific notation? There's a few steps. The first step is to move the decimal to the right of the first non-zero digit. That of course means any number other than zero. Step number two. Remember that n up above, we have to make that into a number. That exponent is the number of places that we move the decimal. And then step three, if the decimal is moved to the left, the exponent is positive. If the decimal is moved to the right, then the exponent is negative. So let's get some practice, and here's the first example. We're going to express each of these numbers in scientific notation. By the way, the way that we're seeing these numbers right now, 68,700,000, this is what we call standard form. So let's figure out or take a look at how we change this number into scientific notation. So as we said before, we have a decimal point and we need to move that decimal point before the first non-zero digit. Well, in this number, 68,700,000,000, we don't see the decimal, but it's right here after the number. So we need to move it. Our first non-zero digit is here between the 6 and the 8. So we have to take the decimal and move it all the way from our first dot over to the second one. We're going to make little loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We moved that decimal 10 places. So what does that do for us? So we have to take this and rewrite this number as 6.87. There's my first number, bigger than 1, less than 10, times 10 to a power. And what is the power? It's the number of places we move that decimal. That's why we wrote down 10 places. And because we moved that decimal to the left, we call this a positive 10. So 68,700,000,000 is the same as 6.87 times 10 to the 10th power in scientific notation. Now let's take a look at this next number. This next one is a smaller number. And so we're going to take this from standard form and put that one into scientific notation as well. So here we go. In example B, here's our decimal, and we are actually going to end up moving it to the first non-zero digit, which is just after the 7. So we're going to move that decimal, and we're going to do loops again. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We move that decimal 5 places. And now we're going to write our scientific notation. So 7.25 times 10, and again we moved it to the left, so excuse me, we moved it to the right, so our exponent needs to be negative. So 0 0.0000725 is the same as 7.25 times 10 to the negative fifth. In our next example, we're going to take a look at how to change from scientific notation and put, at, put that into standard form. So our first one, we have 3.201 times 10 to the 6th. And here's our steps. The first thing that we need to do is if the exponent is positive, 
we're going to move the decimal to the right. And if the exponent is negative, we're going to move the decimal to the left. And then anywhere we have empty spaces, what I call empty loops, we're going to put zeros in those places. So let's take a look here at the first example. We have 3.201 times 10 to the 6th. I have the 3.201 part. My exponent is a positive 6. As the steps say, my exponent's positive. I need to move the decimal to the right. And I'm going to move it six places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then the rule says anywhere where there's empty spaces, we need to put zeros. And so now we have this number, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And if I add commas in, then I have 3,201,000. So what about in this next example, if you look here, we have an exponent that's negative. So as it says above, we're going to take that number. The exponent is negative, so we're going to move it to the left. I'm going to rewrite it so I have a little more space. So I have 9.03. I'm going to move this decimal to the left five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. There's my decimal point. And then again, anywhere there's an empty loop, we're going to put a zero as that placeholder. So I've got one, two, three, four zeros, and then I also like to put a zero in front. So that's changing from scientific to standard form. Now let's use these concepts that we've talked about here as well as what we learned earlier in the chapter with our rules of exponents. So we're going to um, evaluate this problem. In this case, we're going to multiply there's nothing in between, but it's understood when they're like that with parentheses that we have to multiply them together. So here's our first example. The first thing that we're going to do is take our 6.5 and multiply it by our 8.7. The commutative property allows us to do this redistribution. Then we're going to put the 10 to the 12th, multiply it by 10 to the negative 15th. From here, we do the multiplication, and 6.5 times 8.7 gives us 56.55 times 10. And then again, the rule is when you multiply by the same base, you add the exponents. And 12 plus negative 15 is negative 3. That's not in a very good spot. Let me move that up just a little bit. Negative 3. So here's the thing. We're almost done. But if you look at this first part of the number, it is not totally in scientific notation because our first number is greater than 10. So just like what we've practiced, we have to move this decimal over one place to the left. And again, when you move the decimal to the left, you actually have to add, we moved it one place, so we're going to add 1 onto our exponent. So in this case, our final answer is 5.655 times 10, and then negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So that's in uh, scientific notation. And then the directions say to put it in both scientific and standard, so going back to that rule, our exponent's negative. We're going to take this decimal and move it over two places to the left. So when we do that, we have 0 0.05655. And again, that came from moving this decimal to the left two places. Now we could do the same idea and also find this with a division problem. So in the very last example for this lesson, we have 1.305 times 10 to the third divided by 1.45 times 10 to the negative fourth. And just like the multiplication problem that we just did, we're actually going to split the division problem into two parts as well. 
we're going to do the constants as one of them, and then we're going to do these ones with the powers of 10 as a separate problem. So when we do the division of 1.305 and we divide it by 1.45, we get 0 0.9 times 10. And again, we learned earlier in this chapter that when you have the same base and you divide, you subtract the exponents. And 3 minus a negative 4. Again, the rule for subtracting a negative is add a positive. So 3 plus 4 gives us 7. But again, we are not quite done because this first number, this 0.9, needs to be 1 or greater and then less than 10. So we actually need to move that decimal point over one place to the right. So we get 9 times 10. And then when we move the decimal point over one place to the right, we actually need to subtract 1 from our exponent, so that becomes 10 to the 6th. So here again is our scientific notation. And then from here, we want to write this number in standard form. So again, even though we don't see it with a whole number of 9, we need to move that decimal point over 6 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in those empty loops, zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, I missed one. Six. Ooh, that's a bad one. So then you have nine. Oh, my goodness. That should say nine million. All right, so let's fix that. That should say nine million. So there you have it, folks. I'm just going to go back to that last slide. There you have it. That is working with scientific notation. Have a great day.